Just come on up for children's message. I'll meet you right there on the steps. All right. Walk enthusiastically. No running. All right, good. All right. Oh, yeah, Bentley's all smiles. He's going to make it. Max, come on up this way. The sister, okay. All right. So I'm going to show you this, this packet here. Right? See this thing? Oh, thank you. Oh, I thought you were giving me the gum. Oh, okay. All right, sit down and listen then. Thank you. Good boy. All right. See this? Do you, do you have this? I mean, this is a pack, and can you guess what was in here before I pull it out? Light bulbs, right. Can you guess how easy it was to get the light bulbs out of this thing? No. No. Right? Do you ever, like, buy, do you ever get something like a, a present? Or you buy something and it's in like these plastic, right? It's, it's molded plastic and it's in there, maybe a, a toy or a game. And you try to get out and you can't do it. And you give it to your dad and he's like, oh, I can't follow these things. I can't get, right? You ever, that ever happened? And uh, that happens to me all the time. And so I had to take a scissors and be very careful because then you don't want to stab yourself and get in there. And, and you don't want to break the light bulb. And it's just kind of a pain. I don't, why do they put things in these containers like this? I don't know, but it's really hard to get at them. But I have a question for you. Here's a question. Have you ever gotten something in this, like for Christmas or birthday, a present, or you bought something at the store, and you, you wanted that thing, but it was in here, like it was in the plastic, right? Have you ever tried to get it out, and it's just too hard, so you say, ah, for, I don't want that anyway. I don't need, never mind. Have you ever done that? Why not? Hey guys, come on back here, please. Come back and sit down. Thank you, Max. Why haven't you? Why didn't you just throw it? Yeah, then you gave up. Then you don't get what's in there because you want what's in there, right? But this is just getting in the way. Guess what? That's how the cross is in our lives. That's how the cross of Jesus is. The cross of Jesus, when we believe in Jesus and his cross, it forgives our sins, but it can also make things hard sometimes. Because there might be sins that we like to do that the cross tells us, you can't do those. And so, oh, it makes life hard. Oh, I can't be mad at my sister. Oh, right? So the cross is like, but do we throw the cross? Do we just throw it all away and say, ah, oh, then, then I'm done with Jesus? Well, no, because Jesus is valuable to us. He's our Savior. So remember, when you see these packets, they're hard to get into, but you don't, you don't throw them out. You, you, you work at it, and you're safe, and you get in. And so the cross can be hard in our lives, but we don't throw it away. It's good because it's Jesus. All right, let's pray. Hold your hands. Thank you, Jesus, for your cross, for dying on your cross for us and for the crosses in our lives. Help us to rejoice in both of those crosses with our faith and to always follow you no matter how hard it is. And all God's people said, amen. amen. All right. Thank you.